Good morning and well, welcome back to the Lake District. Uh, I'm here in my favourite part of the Lake District, uh, at the general area, the, uh, the Western Fells. And I'm currently heading towards um, Great Gable via uh, a route known as Mosey's Trod. I've set off from Hornets to Slate Mine and uh, I've climbed about 600 feet over just over half a mile according to uh, my measurements and um, it's quite a warm day <laughs> so if I look quite hot and sweaty that's because I am um, so yeah this is the uh, a quick spin, spin round uh, yeah this is the uh, this is the view so behind me you've got the uh, the mine workings at, uh, at Honister. Honister Slate Mine is over that way, down uh, a very steep but uh, quite manageable set of stairs. You just got to take your time. Stairs, steps, I mean. Uh, over this way, we've got um, in the foreground that's Haystacks, Wainwright's favourite fell, where his uh, his ashes was scattered at the summit, at the, well near the summit of that. At uh, in Ominate Turn, and then behind that is Pillar, um, with quite, you can see quite clearly Pillar Rock on the front of it, and then just over to the right is um, High Style, but uh, yeah, we're not going that way, we're going, we're going this way, you can't actually see where we're going at this point, um, but I'm sure it will all become clear in a bit. Now this is an interesting viewpoint, so I've come up the path a little way and now I'm in a more elevated spot as you can see looking out over uh, high style and haystacks. It's just lovely that, you really get a sense of scale standing here, um, taking in that view, it's just beautiful. Well, we're about 1.3 miles into the walk and the view over the lakes is really starting to open up a bit now. Now we can see Buttermere and in the distance, Crumit Water. So I'm just framing this, taking a few different framings, but uh, I'm basically framing it from from Haystacks right across to Fleetwith Pike here on the right and just getting a bit of the boulder field just in front of me into the shot. I'm not going to bother with a, a polarising filter because I don't think it's really going to help today but uh, yeah it looks nice.
So at this point, we're uh, now entering onto Morsey's Trod, which uh, is named after the legendary, legendary as in it's not entirely sure he existed, uh, Morsey's Rig, who was apparently worked in the mines back there at uh, Fleetworth, and, uh, or Honest, I should say, and used to uh, do a fair bit of smuggling. And uh, this was his main route, apparently, into between the valleys from uh, from Honest to, to Wasdale. Uh, for our purposes, it takes us up around the back of Great Gable, which is just coming into view. This is actually quite a good vantage point to see the whole of Morsey's Trod. Or the bit that we're going to be walking along on it anyway, as it um, crosses the back of, of Gable. Um, if you have a look over there, you can see. Yeah, so you can see, see how the trod runs along the bottom of um, Green Gable there, which is the mountain on the left. Um, then along the, the base of Great Gable and then it actually carries on around the back of Kirkfell there before coming out of Beckhead on the other side. It's an ingenious route. Totally cuts out all the ascent. Unfortunately that's not going to help us because we're going up, up there. Great Gable. I'd better make a move, really, because uh, not going to get there at this rate. leave the trod. Uh, well, right now I'm going to stop, have a rest and have something to eat. So it's time for a bit of something to eat. I've been a bit lazy this week. I had to buy pre-packed stuff on the way in because I couldn't be bothered cooking anything beforehand. So uh, today's sandwiches of choice are wild salmon and cucumber. Not just any old salmon, but wild salmon, salmon. From, uh, from the services on the way up. Do as a starter at least. So my current plan is to carry on up this face of uh, Great Gable here. Mostly for the views of Wasdale from the top. Um, and then once I've gone over the top, come down to Windy Gap on the other side, and then back towards the, the car. Well, back to the, the mines rather. It turned out to be a really nice day. The, uh, the forecast predicted sort of intermittent showers and things. 
but it was a bit vague as to where it was, but the general hint was it was over on the east, so that's why I came out to the west side of the, of the district. So hopefully I'll miss all the, uh, the wild weather, storms, thunderstorms, definitely hope I miss them. Um, I wouldn't like to get caught out up here in a thunderstorm. But uh, yeah, the forecast was that it wasn't over here, it was going to be more towards the Pennines. So uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy my butty and um, then I'm going to head on up and uh, yeah, see you, see you in a bit. Gotta go all the way up there. a little plateau about I about 300 foot up I'm knackered <laughs> however the view is well worth the effort if you uh, have a look around here I've got Kirk Fell on the left here with pillar just poking up behind it and uh, high style and haystacks on the other side of the valley <coughs> and then the lovely Verdant Ennerdale. Superb. So I'm going to take a few pictures here. <sighs> I'm going to get my breath back and move on. And here's the path ahead. There's the tops up there somewhere. Yeah, so I've got uh, a few hundred feet to go. Getting there though, getting there. Got to pace it, and uh, I've hit like a bit of a, a bit more of a scrambly bit, so it's going to take a bit more care. So uh, I need to concentrate on what I'm doing and uh, go carefully. The uh, <laughs> hopefully not going to fall off here. Yeah. Uh, the views are quite stunning, though. We've currently got a superb, pardon, <laughs> superb view of uh, Wasdale, looking that way. And then if we come around. There's Kirk Fell. And then into the magic that is Ennerdale. And then you can just see Crummock Water over the uh, top of Haystacks there. So, anyway, I've got my breath back now, so onwards and upwards. Uh, at this point, the path is kind of, ah oh, there you go, it's a little bit of colour there. The usual thing with these kind of scrambles is to look for the, uh, the light of the rocks. Although I've just seen people come down over there, so I'd be tempted to make my way over to where they're coming down. In fact, I can just see there's uh, some finer broken rocks which implies that's the path. So let's have a look. more like a path. That'll be me losing my footing. Hey. Right. What woods I guess. Really is a matter of keeping an eye on what you're doing climbing these kind of paths because they're a bit a bit unstable. 
a bit ill-defined in places. You could easily come a cropper. Currently looking forward to more food at the top. <laughs> The views just keep getting better though. Yeah, have a look, baby. spin you around. Oh dear. Are we there yet? Taking it really easy at this point. It's a silly hot day. It's very daft doing this kind of thing. But it's fun, right? It is indeed fun. I think I'm at the top of the main climb, there's uh, still a bit to go, as you can see behind me, but uh, yeah, I think, I think that's the bulk of the really steep bit. Going to my altimeter, I've got about 100 meters to go, 100 meters, 100 feet, so that shouldn't be too bad. What is a bit worrying is it's starting to look a bit hazy if you look over here. This is all looking a bit on the stormy side, and uh, slightly concerned that that might lead to thunderstorms. Oh not, I'll be just a bit of haze. I'm going to have to keep a careful eye on it and uh, probably start thinking about how to get back down in the shortest route possible. Um, but yeah, let's press on to the top and see what we can see. Well, I've made it to the summit and uh, yeah, I seem to have the place to myself, which is unusual for Great Gable, as uh, there's usually usually a few people um, knocking around. So uh, I suspect it could be something to do with this rather stormy looking weather over this way that uh, appears to be heading this way. I hope, hopefully it's going across and it'll just miss me. Uh, it's kind of bizarre, isn't it, because just the other side of the mountain it's like uh, it's like the summer's day it was before. <sighs> and then you got sprinkling tan there. And great end. And two Scarfells, Pike and well, Skyfell. Uh, Scarfell Pike being the uh, highest mountain in England. <sighs> but yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting atmosphere. I know the wind's picking up a little bit as well which is not a good thing. So I should probably make my way down to lower ground, just in case. Because that looks, well, it doesn't look pleasant that way at all. It looks, looks quite bad, so I'll, uh, I won't hang around. I was going to go and uh, try and locate the uh, Westmoreland Cairn, which is down there somewhere. But uh, I can have to wait till another day. Because uh, this, yeah, this looks like it could turn stormy. 
and this is probably not the best place to be in stormy weather so i'll move on Well, it's kind of interesting coming down on the side of Great Gable. I've, I've come up this side a few times, uh, but this is the first time I've ever tried to come down it. So <laughs> I'm quite conscious that I don't want to go the wrong way and end up on the wrong side of the, uh, the mountain, which would be a bit of a nuisance. But it looks like the place I want to get to is, I don't know if you can see it, there's a, a red path there. I want to get to the foot of that path, so I uh, need to watch that I don't inadvertently end up going off that way towards Stryhead Turn, uh, which is easily done. <laughs> so we'll see. I think I might have just spotted the uh, the Westman Kern. Maybe not. Don't know. Ah, so that's another another exciting scree slope to get down. Quite a treacherous path, really. A lot of loose scree. People coming up the other way, and a dog. Uh, actually, I'm at the end of the path. Oh, I think it's starting to rain. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, I'm at the end of the, the scramble down from uh, Great Gable, and I've got a choice of either going up. Um, the other side on Green Gable and then over the top of there or just follow me down here I can uh, head back down Windy Gap which is well this gap between the two mountains uh, and rejoin Moses Trot which I might just do because the weather's not looking great Hint of rain is not uh, not something I want to see. Have a look. Oh yeah, that looks terrible down there. <laughs> yeah, get a look at this. <laughs> so yeah, I think the plan's going to be we'll, uh, we'll abandon going back up to Green Gable and uh, head down Windy Gap, <laughs> which I'm sure sounds very windy. Um, back towards this trot. I'll probably get the water inside as well, so off we go. I'm fan of scree slopes, if truth be told. They're a bit unpredictable. And this one's a little bit, I don't know, it's loose. Nothing big on it, which is. Wow. <laughs> you see, that's the thing. That's what I hate about these things. <laughs> that's the bit that got me. Anyway. I think I'll try and get back a bit more on the storm. <laughs> <laughs> it might be more stable. Yeah. Yep, take not steady. Ah, that's it. Back on. Something that looks like solid ground. Right, onwards and downwards.
Well, this looked as good a place as any to stop for a break. Uh, I've got about a mile or so to go to get back to the car, I think. I'd say about a mile, mile and a half. Uh, it's all downhill from here, so that's good. Didn't come over, over the trod uh, and just start enjoying the view over uh, Ennerdale and uh, Buttermere and Crummock. I'm looking at this storm, which fortunately for me appears to be definitely out in the distance. Uh, it didn't come up here. So that's good. I got a few spots of water, but nothing, uh, nothing to worry about. So that's good. But yeah, it looks quite, quite murky in both those valleys. Uh, so I have to keep an eye on it. it. Doesn't look like anything's coming over this way, fortunately. So, so that's good. Oh dear, I'm exhausted. It's been a very hot day. It's been enjoyable, it's been very enjoyable. But um, yeah, I'm really quite tired now. Uh, I've only walked six miles as well, but uh, oh look, uh, 2,200 feet of ascent, so yeah, reasonable to feel a bit tired. Uh, also, you know, lugging a drone with no batteries, that's, that's not helped. <laughs> so apologies for the uh, reduced production values on this one. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to have a little bit of something to eat, a bit of a drink. Head on back to the car. So, until next time, see ya.